All right, guys, it is getting dark outside now, and the bugs are still out. So I've got a bunch, probably about 30 or 40 tiny little black flies all up towards the top of the tent, partly because the door obviously was wide open and the lights on the inside of the tent are on. So kind of drawing attention, but once we get that stove really stoked up, the heat's going to rise and those bugs are not going to want to be in here. So, and then the outside air will be cool. It's kind of a little trick that I do is zip it shut, trap them in here, get the tent really hot and then open the door once the cold air is actually set in outside and they actually leave like right away. And then there's no more outside that come in. So a little, little hot tent trick there. Oh, Boomer is itching to play. <laughs> we were just outside fetching a stick. So he's still a little wound up. Wood stove is crackling away now. It took right off and uh, supper was really good. So we both had two hamburger patties. I had two burgers. He had dog food and hamburger patty. And uh, we got a little bit extra firewood, nothing crazy, like maybe 10 or 15 pieces. Put them underneath the stove, a couple of them there so they'll dry out because some of them are still a little damp. And all in all, this is awesome. Like I gotta say, I really do enjoy the color of this tent and the layout right now is perfect for me. So later on, what I'm gonna do is pull my bed off the wall closer to the center pole. That way I'm not bumping into the wall. And that's where I'm gonna sleep. It's basically right in the center. I've got all the room underneath of here to put my clothing. I got slippers, so I put my shoes under there and all that stuff. Plus, like I said, I'm on my private property. I've got my workshop over there and my vehicle probably about 100 feet away. So I do have a couple more things I need to bring in overnight, like my change of clothes, clothing bag, all that fun stuff. And uh, yeah, start enjoying tent life because it is awesome out here. The temperatures are starting to come down, so this wood stove is bearable. I do still have all the lower windows wide open. I'm probably gonna leave them open all night. We'll see how that goes, but so far so good, guys. All right, guys, just coming inside of the tent, was outside just a moment ago for a bathroom break, gathered up a couple twigs. I had to light the stove again because I let it go out. It got crazy hot in here and uh, yeah, way too much. So had to go outside, gather some more twigs. It is taking off right now. I've got some more twigs in there for the morning as well. And it is super bright inside of here tonight. So I've got one lamp on top of the table. I've got two up top and one right behind the camera. And there's a ton of light, way too much light in here, but I need it for the camera. Once I get everything done here, I'm gonna leave that one on and shut the rest off. There is a ton of bugs still in here, guys. Man, they're, they're not gonna bother me because they're all up top, um, but I do have a bug zapper that I brought in here with me. So this is a little black light bug zapper. Once all these lights are off, I'm gonna hang this at the top and it'll work its magic. So we'll get that on a little later on, something I found on Amazon, pretty generic item. Uh, I did close this half window over here as well as this one up here by my head, but the other ones I'm gonna leave open just to get a little bit of a breeze in here. And I'm gonna be pulling my bed in once I'm done and kind of settled in for the evening. The floor is a total mess. So this is something that I want to point out because every hot tent season, there are people that constantly ask, why does your tent have no floor? Hey man, get a tent that has a floor. What's the deal with the no floor? Well, this is why hot tents don't have floors typically. Right now we're in the shoulder season. There are still bugs and I'm on a wooden deck. So this floor I actually left in, which is something I rarely do with hot tents. This is why it is a total mess in here and it is like the best conditions. It's not wet out, it's not raining, there's no snow and I'm not having to split and cut wood inside of the tent like you would normally in winter. So this floor is a luxury thing. So me and my wife can bring our son out here. He can crawl on the floor. It's a nice clean space. This is an off grid homestead hot tent. This isn't like a hunting, going out camping hot tent. This is something we put here permanently on our off-grid property. So if I were to go out hot tenting, as I typically do hiking in with my backpack, I would not bring the floor. It's just too much of a mess. You're in the tent, cutting, splitting, doing all your stuff. It just, it makes a huge mess. 
So if my wife were here right now, she would go bonker. She would be tidying, sweeping, trying to clean the floor. Me, personally, I just leave it. Tomorrow morning, I'll sweep it out. And uh, next time she comes out here, it'll be nice and clean. So we will be having a broom in here all the time. I just forgot it. So a little bit of information there. That wood stove is ticking and rocking away now. I can feel the heat starting to build. Uh, it's definitely cozy in here. So I'm not going to be filming a whole lot too much tonight. I'll give you guys a look at the situation here with the lighting, show you the stove and whatnot. And I'm going to turn in and watch a movie. I'm going to bring my bed closer to the end, get my phone propped up, and watch a movie that I have saved from Netflix, and enjoy that, and then start the morning bright and early. All right, so what you guys are looking at right now is pretty much a bedside view. Um, the bed is still pushed back, so I do need to bring it forward, but right now, it's very, very hot in here. Even right now in front of the stove, it is too much. It's not winter time yet, so. What I like to do is damp the stove down to almost half damp, and this is the little metal poker the stove came with. I like keeping this down on the ground. Just for those of you who are new to hot tenting, this is probably like my 15th year hot tenting. Um, if you keep it up high and you go and reach for it when you need it, it's gonna be piping hot, it's gonna burn your hand. Just like anything above, even the kettle, sometimes you gotta really come over. This is titanium, so it dissipates heat very easily, but sometimes this will get rocking hot, as well as anything above. So the lights that I have up above, I'm gonna be very careful with how I'm burning the stove because the heat rises and kid you not, if you grab the center pole of your hot tent down by the ground and then start climbing with your hand all the way to the top, eventually you're gonna burn your hand. It gets very, very, very hot, even in a big tent. So I'm gonna let this burn low and slow. I'm gonna damp it down, cut the draft a little bit just so there's coals, a little bit of a flickering flame. Once it gets down low enough, I'll be able to bring my bed closer and that way I can kind of lean over my bed, put a piece of wood in, lean back, and not worry about anything burning. I've got wood pulled close enough so the wet stuff will dry, as well as a kind of a green piece, half green piece. I'm saving that for bedtime because it'll smolder and burn really, really low. Uh, Boomer right now is underneath of the bed, crashed out, so he's moved away. He will come back and go right behind the stove like he always does. He really loves the heat, so. Yeah, I think I want to get these lights off and uh, start relaxing. All right, guys, well, that stove pipe is piping red hot, which is something I don't recommend. So the stove is now damped down. It's starting to come down to a nice temperature. And moving way back here, and just kind of relaxing is more comfortable than being way up there. And it's also a bonus being low to the ground. So tonight, really, I should have left the legs off the cot and put the cot really down low to the ground, because the higher you go, the hotter it gets. So these legs would be great for winter, like minus 10, minus 15 Celsius. Having that hot air go under the bed and then being up in the heat channel as well means burning the, the stove lower and longer versus hotter and, and shorter. So right now I'm gonna damp that way down and basically kick back and relax. So Boomer is just about tuckered out here. I'm gonna start my movie. So I'm gonna say goodnight to you guys and we'll catch up first thing in the morning for coffee. Good night, everybody.
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, sunny, crisp, and cool morning out here today. So I've got a beautiful little streak of warm sunlight coming through the trees right now. I've got the heat of the wood stove at my back filling this tent very quickly and a cup of hot coffee on the go. So last night was very quiet, incredibly quiet. And I mean quiet to the point where I could hear some of these birch leaves falling and like hitting all the branches going down through the trees in the forest and tapping on the tent. It was just super quiet. So very, very good night's sleep last night. Nice and warm and toasty. I let the stove burn out probably at about 11 o'clock. Didn't relight it until this morning. And I, I could definitely feel it getting up. So it was about five degrees this morning, which is very nice. That means all these leaves are gonna start to turn color very soon, which is going to look amazing. So starting off the morning, some hot coffee. I am gonna make some pancakes on the wood stove in just a moment. Waiting for it to die down just a tiny bit and we'll get a hot pan on there and make up some breakfast. So cheers guys, morning coffee. All right, guys, breakfast is all done with and the temperature of this tent is starting to rise. I've got to get outside and just chill out for a few moments. So 
Breakfast is done, coffee is done, and the day has started. My wife is on her way out here right now, and we're gonna be working here all day on the property, preparing for winter. So if you guys are interested in seeing how today goes, tune into the other YouTube channel, Destination Wilderness. Link is down below in the description. And I think we're gonna wrap it up for this video. I think Boomer's ready to go. We're ready to get cleaned up and ready for the day. I'm still in my, my sleep tights here, so, and my slippers. So it's definitely time to get up and get cleaned up and start the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. And until next time, peace out, guys. We'll catch you in the next episode.